In today's episode of Blender Add-ons, we're gonna talk about a free and simple Blender add-on called Align and Distribute, which brings some interesting functionalities to Blender. They are similar to what you can find in the Inkscape 2D software. So what does it do and how can it be useful for you? We're gonna cover some of its major features and functionalities. First of all, we have alignment. With this option, you can align several objects along any axis. The pivot point is optional here. It can be either the origin of your active object or its bottom face by counting on the bounding box option which provides five different processes, each one of which aligns the selected objects either to the left or to the right side. We also have distribution. While the first feature aligns the objects, the second one distributes them in two different dimensions. First, the one dimension option distributes them in one axis. The same pivot point option as the alignment are used for this one too. The distribution can be either with an equal gap between the objects, which leaves the same space between two different objects' volumes, or the equal distance in turn leaves the same space between two objects' origins. The 2D option distributes the objects alongside a plane of your choosing using a grid size and cell size values. The distribution can be either to the right, left, up or the bottom of your active object. There are other options for randomizing the distribution and switching the flow. This last one switches the direction from left to right or the inverse in the alignment features in one axis, while it switches the distribution between rows and columns in one plane. So how does the add-on actually work? After installing the add-on, a new tab appears in the end panel. It contains all the buttons that allow you to use these functions. The user interface is quite simple, which is great. It will take less than an hour to get used to it, because it is based on Blender's default operations. The add-on can be used in all types of objects, including lights, cameras, armatures, curves, etc. And all the values and modifiable options can be keyframed, so it can be used for animation too. But what else can be used for? For starters, it can be useful for architectural modeling, for example, you can distribute and randomize some trees along a specified area. It may not have a huge role in animation, but for sure it can shorten the path for you in some projects. There is no doubt that it can be useful also for lighting and creating interior or exterior designs. I would say the most important thing about this add-on is that it is a time saver, since it facilitates the workflow and makes it more efficient for the user. It also packs many Blender functions and operations in one place, which is very convenient. So who can benefit from it in the first place? I would say mostly modelers and animators in the first place, in addition to architects and architectural visualization artists, because their job may include distributing objects along and across surfaces. The great thing about this add-on is that it is free, so we don't have to pay anything, and it is a useful tool for every Blender user who want to speed up their workflow, especially in modeling. So this was a quick overview of a simple yet very useful Blender add-on. If you are interested, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.